Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch. I'm on Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. This is a Moodle site with Advisor REM UI. So I'm under the site administration and I want to show you the analytics. Lots of uh, options here on the Moodle. You can go in for site information and the site information that's available is face-to-face, -face, blended, or fully online. I've been teaching face-to-face -face for, I guess, 40 years and in blended format since um, the early 90s, which makes it almost 30 years. Yes, um, there was internet 30 years ago. <laughs> All right, and uh, fully online, I do this on a regular basis. Face-to-face, -face, it's mostly young learners from the age of 12 to the age of 18. That's face-to-face. -face. I also um, give workshops to adults. Fully online is to teachers worldwide, and that's why I'm here with this particular integrating technology because it's only fully online. So notice uh, percent online. I can get this information right now. There's nothing here. So this is site-wide information. I can also decide on whether I'm an academic corporate training or non-government. Right now it's on none. Level of education. Notice uh, these. this is information that I can gather. Not going to go into that, but I am going to go back into analytics and show you. Let's leave as Google warns me and go back to the other information that's available under analytics. So notice here, we're still on the site view that we can gather and we can also set the analytics. All this, of course, is completely free. So these are the analytics, the settings, and then under that, the models. So notice here, um, you can have, uh, this is new to Moodle version above 3.6. I believe it started 3.7. This is 3.8.3. Uh, didn't go into 3.9, even though it's available as of yet, but I will very soon. There's Python machine learning backend, and there's PHP. Right now it's under PHP. That's the default backend. Notice um, log store for analytics is a standard log. You can have all this information and check. Notice there's last quarter. Moodle was made for schools. That was the purpose, and I think that's where it has always um, been leaning towards, less towards individual teachers. However, as an individual teacher, I can also enjoy these benefits, even though I'm not a school. Now, notice uh, you can also have the models. The default, of course, is the, the place where the information is stored. And then I can make the changes, decide on analyze limit time, and so on. So that's how I set it up. Let's go back into analytics in the admin page. And I also want to show you the reports that you can gather from your courses about your users. As I said, this is geared for schools and less for businesses unless they have uh, e-learning. All right. So back to the administration to get to the other part of the analytics, which is the model and then the reports. All right, so the models. These are the models that you can choose from. Very, very easy. Notice what's here. Course at risk. Now I use this. It's amazing. You get information. Uh, you can choose all predictions. You can take actions. Okay, this is all available. It's an amazing features uh, students at risk of dropping out that's also available all this information is available upcoming events do students who have not accessed the course yet you can get all this information straight from your moodle backend of course this information is all available to the administrator unless you give your manager 
these rights manager of a site so let's go into the reports notice the reports there's there are logs live logs and other logs so the reports has a great deal of information for you if you're interested in that. storage comments backups config changes course size events list insights logs that's what i was saying live logs there are two kinds performance overview question instance security overview event monitoring and spam cleaner these are all the reports that you can get let's take a look at course size that might be of interest to you you can go through each of these you can also um, check up on the courses and see what's going on there so notice um, these are the courses and notice the statistics here and the backup size okay so uh, this is taking room you might want to take care of this but right now uh, this course has some stats Notice the backup size because it wasn't perhaps backed up. Uh, this course was supposed to go into its huge delete. It will be deleted and then these other ones as well. So let's go into view stats. So you get an idea of um, what kind of statistics you will have. So um, notice uh, these are, we're talking about size here, the size of the assignments. Uh, submission poodle and you can see the general course size is huge it's 95 well the form is even bigger notice the size of that so this is something that you might want to deal with but it's really really important to have this course is not taking place right now so these things um, will slow down the system all right, so let's go on. We're talking about reports and course size. Of course, you can take a look at all your courses, get an idea. This information is only available to the admin. If I go into media collection storage, so just to give you an idea, notice uh, under this course, there's just one, which is a good thing, and so on. Let's um, go back here to our administration, site administration. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to ask in the comment box. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube channel. So we're under reports. And um, you can also take a look at the logs, of course, the live logs as well for information. Notice what's available here. Uh, you can do it for all participants. Okay, or you can do it, you can also go by days. Okay, it only goes up to a year. You can get these logs, standard log, legacy, external database log. Notice the events that are taking place, teaching, participating, and others, the sources. Notice what's available here. Actions, of course, you can create, view, update, delete, all changes. And the activity site errors are also included there. So take a look at it. I think it's really worth your while. You can also take a look at the guest user take a look at these for information on the logs if you go into reports you'll also be able to get the live logs and you might find that interesting this information is um, also available through each of the participants so if i go into a user i'll be able to also get the information from there so let me do that now let me go into a course and into a user so you can see the kind of information that you can also get from each specific user so uh, we can go through users here or we can go to the sources this site used to be huge it used to have over 20,000 participants I got rid of many who are not active this is something you might want to do if you're in the school of course it's going to depend on your system how many years you keep the courses on so if I go into courses and uh, notice there is the backup here going to go into manage courses and that's also relevant information you can also upload courses using a backup a course from another so let's go into um, teach English this course uh, ended 
at the end of April, I believe. So if we go into teaching English through drama, there are a lot of, this is an amazing course, by the way, with Susan Hilliard, you're invited to join the next one. Notice there were 15 in the last course. I'm going to go into view. This is the course. Um, I'm going to fix the images there. So if I go into this information here, notice I can get the edit of that. Edit the course, but I can also turn editing on here. Uh, there's also this information here, which is exactly the same as so you've got it on the left now. If you're used to another theme, you may find this uh, in 3.8 with a more. Under more for the course administration doesn't appear the same way. You'll find users and under users, you'll be able to go into enrolled users. There are also other users if you want to add others who are not active. And if I go into um, one of the users, notice their images are not here. So if I go into this user, who's actually the... And um, so I'm going to go into the user, and I'll be able to see all the reports, under reports, today's logs, all logs, online report complete. And I can get this for each of the users, not this way. I can go into uh, the grading system and get all this information. I can also get it from the list of participants over here. And um, and that's it, more or less. Let's go back into the um, admin settings, which is at the bottom. Okay, notice what's on the right here. So notice um, this little thingy here. Um, user list, I'm in the course right now. So um, if I want to get to the admin, I will go through the Edweiser REMUI or MUI to get to the site administration and then I can continue. I'm using Tiny MCE. Click on the administration and I'm back. I've um, also added, notice you can find it here, um, course overview. I can see what's going on in this particular course, uh, the completion and proof of these courses, sorry. Um, 33% complete. I can also get a view of um, how students are doing. So um, th that's the block. Let's go back to my courses. Okay, for example, this particular course, Action Research, I'm not sure if there's anything there right now. Okay, so this is the course. Notice that at the top, I can also get information, number of students enrolled, students completed in progress, and so on. So lots of information for you to um, access if you're interested in analytics and learning about your courses and, of course, the users or students of the course. Feel free to um, try it out if you're interested. You can get a Moodle site for free on Moodle Cloud and see how it works. Really, really easy and completely free. So here it is, Moodle Cloud. Just get started for free and uh, you'll be able to see what the system looks like. There's also the Orange Road School, which is also very powerful. And you can go in as a student, a teacher, or a manager just to try out the system. Moodle is amazing, so I highly recommend. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.